Hey there, it's Stephanie Shea, Chief Astrologer for janespiller.com, and I'm here with your monthly overview for June. And we have had a lot of interesting astrology over the spring. We went through a Mercury retrograde, March and April. May has been about moving forward. Now we're entering June, and there is still a lot of great momentum to keep us going. We start out with the sun shining in Gemini, which is a sign of communication, making connections. It's a great time to meet new people and work your networks. That's a Gemini strength. Um, and the new moon is also in Gemini, and that will be on the 13th. This new moon is wonderful for setting intentions related to your friendships, to your connections, writing projects, anything that involves communication skills, and also diversifying your skills if you're thinking about going to school or learning any kind of new skill. Uh, use this Gemini new moon on the 13th as an opportunity to set your intentions. We're going to have a lot of strong powers helping us move forward this month. Even though we have entered the shadow of Mars retrograde, and that will turn retrograde by the end of the month, at this new moon on the 13th, I think there's still enough energy to give one last push before we then need to start looking at finishing things we've started again towards the end of the month. Another thing to watch out for mid-month will be Neptune stationing retrograde on the 18th. Anytime this happens, it can really create sort of a foggy feeling. Neptune is the planet of our subconscious, our intuition, it spends about half the year direct and half the year retrograde. During the time that it's retrograde is when we have the greatest access to our intuition. Um, it's a great time of year over the next several months to keep a journal, write down your dreams. You're, you're going to get these messages from other sources um, outside of yourself, perhaps from your higher power and from your own sense of inner knowing that maybe you block out at other times. We're just more receptive. Um, so definitely pay attention to that in the coming months, but during the days around the 18th, it's really not the best time to make decisions. Our thinking may be a bit clouded. It could be hard to see things clearly. So I would advise from about the 16th to about the 20th, and at 21st, around there, um, just just lay back and wait, and then the 21st will be the summer solstice. We'll feel a new infusion of energy. You'll probably be seeing things a little more clearly at that point. Um, so the solstice is on the 21st. It's the day that the sun moves into Cancer. It's a celebratory mood. Cancer is all about friends, loved ones, family, particularly um, usually people recognize their need to really participate more in life and connect with people. If you've sort of been in busy bee mode during the sun in Gemini, it could be time to slow down a little bit and just appreciate the people in your life and what it's like to just rest and renew. There's so much emphasis these days on how much you can accomplish and achieve and do in one day. But the sun in Cancer, and especially the summer solstice, isn't about that. It's about recognizing what you have, feeling gratitude, taking stock. There's plenty of other times of the year where we just power it out. But I'm advising everybody to celebrate the solstice and celebrate life a little bit at that time. Now, as I mentioned, Mars will be going retrograde on the 26th. Uh, this is kind of a big deal. It often only goes retrograde every other year. We're sort of having a fluke where it, we did have a Mars retrograde already in 2017. It's coming back again in 2018, the summer. It will be retrograde starting on the 26th of June all the way through August 27th. You may have already started feeling a little bit of the shadow phase. If you're a person with strong Mars in your chart, that could show up as Aries. Aries is uh, associated with Mars or Scorpio. 
Um, but for everybody, once the 26 hits, it could be harder to push new initiatives forward. This is, again, it's similar to Mercury retrograde where we want to go back and finish what we started, particularly when it's action oriented. Uh, Mars is a planet of ambition, passion, going after what we want. It can feel frustrating to many when Mars is in retrograde because it's, that's the part of us that wants to do something. But we need to direct that urge to do towards the past and finishing. And maybe taking our current approach and reworking it. So you're still doing something, but possibly redoing it. Uh, if you have a brand new idea, you want to launch a new business, I would try to hold off on this until potentially closer to the end of the year. Because even when this Mars retrograde ends, we're going to be coming up on Venus retrograde in the fall shortly thereafter. Um, so not to say you can't do these things, but it's wonderful to keep this in mind so that as you're proceeding, you have that past uh, feeling to keep in mind. So say you're in a jam and you have to start something new. Maybe you have to buy a new house. Maybe you, you've already picked your business launch. You can't go back on it. You're already getting married. Whatever it is, you know, I'm the kind of astrologer where you shouldn't have to stop your whole life. But if you're aware of these things, you can think about renegotiation, re-signing contracts. Sometimes when people get married during a certain retrograde, I have them reaffirm their vows when Mercury, Mars, or Venus are not in retrograde, just to reaffirm it. Um, <laughs> I do believe if things are meant to be, they will move forward, but you want to make it as smooth as possible and try to work with the astrological energies. Uh, we finish out the month with a full moon in Capricorn on the 28th. This is going to feel especially satisfying to people who have been working on long-term projects. Capricorn rules, commitment, and putting in effort over time. So if you've been doing that, you will see some results around this full moon. And conversely, if you know that you should have been getting busy with some <laughs> projects, you'll get a nice reminder around this full moon and feel guided about what steps you do need to take to finish something that's very important to you. So I hope everybody has a wonderful June and I'll be back next month with your monthly astrological overview. Thanks.